Saturday the 14th, the weekend following the Bunyan show, we have quite a few vendors, uh, professionals, sharpener, portable over here, a lot of huskies, stills, new uh, new old stock, it looks like protective, this uh, crazy one, this one was at, was at uh, Bunyan, there's quite a few YouTubes on it, this aggressive custom chain. Um, so you'll run by yourself. But yeah, super turnout. There's even merch over there. Here we go. The soft fast post. Okay, we've got Brian Hahn on stand one. Sort of the Andre typical Tumbling competition. Two, Our local Husky dealer. With a large uh, heated jackets from Milwaukee over there in bulk. Maybe even prizes. Racing fuel from BP. The electrified Husky. Okay, I saw one of those demonstrated at the show. Um, I hear it's soft fest. Um, it's a bare bones startup, um, and it's not twelve dollars to get in either. So um, they were out here after dark. They had the lighting, and uh, there's that Indiana Doug. He turned me on to this. So thanks. And they have a special a uh, wild thing category uh, a lot of it's um, below 50 cc it's a really nice race rig up in the front there can't see it we're gonna see quite a few saws here i'm just gonna run around real quick in one film and i missed the chainsaw museum my bid didn't turn out from the paul bunyan the 5150 Dolmar, um, 5105, that looks like my 460. This is a famous saw right here, it's a Dolmar. A hot saw. Um, a crazy looking um, expansion chamber on that guy. This red, uh, they, do, they have a Clone War. There's a famous YouTuber up over there. They, uh, he was uh, signing autographs. I don't know who he was. Uh, a Poland pro. That's a so yeah, that, that's that's about a 10 second thing or 11 seconds kind of hard to really do a, a video on that uh, they were doing a lot of shorts though I picked up and uh, I don't I don't normally or ever do shorts some very large stills and the, the one anyway which there's a very nice collection of huskies but this one guy he has like he has saws in bulk and they're still over here talking you can see how busy they've been over here. Uh, this guy was doing some professional sharpening. He's he's got a shop under a tent, so they look kind of busy over here. But um, I am seeing saws over here I've never seen before. Actually, I think it's more than I think it might be a few people's collection. The concrete saws, but these uh, Mac ten tens, these little mini Macs, kind of vintage. The Echo. I missed my, my, I think mine was a little bigger than that. I'm not sure. The, uh, and these, these companies are all going by the way, wayside or absorbed. And then the McCullough, that was a, kind of a neat story of that guy. He married, like, the daughter from the Briggs and Stratton family. And the one ten, Very nice Mac ears. A nice Mac collection up in here. A Remington. 
The Craftsman had one of those. Forget how I got that on. Another crash. Um, a unique pioneer that looks like an XL12. That's a Pioneer 1120 part saw. Oh, okay. Picked it up at a garage sale for like 10 bucks. So I'm telling, selling it for 10 bucks. Hopefully, someone can use it, you know, for the parts. My friends, uh, the Conrail had a saw, a bow saw for the railroad, like that. And then the rights for the fire department. Yep. To cut through the roofs. And then Johnson had an XL12, but yeah, a huge, uh, a, Ma a Mac Horde. Yeah, I love everything. I sold all my Johnson Reds, yeah. I sold all my Husky Bars. So, they're hoarding them. The $15 one. We gotta ban them from Remington. Oh, they gotta ban them. Actually, I think I have a Remington top handle back in there. It's a little cheap one, nothing nice. <laughs> so yeah, I got to see some saws I hadn't seen in a number of years today. Oh yeah. Pretty sweet echo there. And then the XL12 in the case. The case looks pretty new too. Like it wasn't used much. It's set in the case the whole time. Shoot, super XL with the pump. Oiler. But yeah, Sauce Fest 2023 with Bogart Ripio over here. Thanks for watching.